So Cornelius Muitua was uh, interviewed by the BBC and um, they asked him questions concerning uh, former President Lungu's immunity and they also asked him about uh, the government's involvement in the confusion going on uh, within the uh, patriotic front, the PF party. And um, this is what he had to say. So let's listen to the interview. And after that, I've got something to share with you as usual. Following the announcement by the former president. As a retired president, Mr. Lungu was entitled to immunity from prosecution and state security, among other privileges that he enjoyed. We're now joined from Lusaka by the government's chief spokesman, Cornelius Mwitwa, on Focus on Africa. Cornelius, thanks for your time. Now, you've been previously quoted as saying that the government would not strip the former uh, president of his retirement benefits. What's changed? Thank you very much uh, for having me and um, for the opportunity. Number one, what we have stated before is that uh, we as government have no intention of lifting the immunity of the former president, President Edika Chagwalungu. Two, that in terms of his retirement benefits, as at the time I was talking, which was some uh, three, four days ago, I was indicating That's that correct. the government has not yet uh, withdrawn his benefits awaiting formal correspondences to be done in accordance with practice and the law and the same have now been done the secretary to cabinet has written to the former president drawing his attention to cap 15 of the laws of zambia okay. which is benefits of the former president's act which provides a number of our benefits amongst them uh, 80% of the salary of the, uh, you know, okay. incumbent. Okay, Cornelius, I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. I, th I think I think the audience gets, gets you've outlined that very clearly. However, the former president has also accused the government of fostering division in his political party. Are you supporting any of the factions within Mr. Lungu's party? Well, there are two factions uh, in uh, the former ruling party's, uh, you know, party. One which is led by a current serving member of parliament of the patriotic front, Mr. Miles Sampa, Honorable Miles Sampa, who had contested the PF presidency in 2015, uh, arising out of uh, the death of late President Michael Sata. And in those elections, uh, Mr. Miles Sampa actually won the elections until they were overturned by the Central Committee of uh, the Patriotic Front for want of certain procedures. By the time he went to All court, right. the return date All right. was passed. Uh, so, so my question, uh, so are you supporting or are you not supporting? Just to take you back to the question. You've been accused of we that. Are not, we are not supporting government, is not supporting any faction, the party in power and its president are not supporting any faction whatsoever. This is a person who has always wanted to contest the presidency of PF, and they're having their own family differences. I, I see. Well, thank you so much there. That's the Zambia Chief Government Spokesman, Cornelius Mwitwa, joining us on Focus in Africa from Lusaka. Now, over 30... So ECA will not be stripped of all the privileges that the former heads of states enjoy. And um, if you ask me, this is really good for ECA. This also shows that the UPND government do have uh, respect for the former head of state. Uh, and this is very generous of the uh, UPND government. Because if it was in other countries, definitely this was not going to happen. But anyway, I'm really happy with the decision that the government has taken towards uh, a former president and um, hopefully they do not remove his immunity because uh, he's a former head of state and um, this, is, this is the only way that we can repay him or this is the only way that we can appreciate him for the works that he did even though not everyone agrees with that. So um, let me know what you think about the government decision uh, to not remove ECO's immunity and to allow him to uh, continue enjoying all the privileges that the former head of state is supposed to enjoy. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, as well as turn on the notification button so that each time I drop new videos, you'll be the first to get notified.